Hello everyone, my name is Oscar and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the grid lines and elevations module in SkyCF TV. First, let's look at how to open the module. We can do that by going to Tools, Grid Lines and Elevations, and they will open up the module. The other option is to hit Ctrl F and type Grid Lines and Elevations. That's going to bring the menu and we can select the first option which is Grid Lines and Elevations. Once we're in the module, there are two workflows, one for new models and another one for existing ones. For new models, we can go ahead and add a new level. That's going to show a new level in the, on the left and will bring the graphical editor on the right. We can then go ahead and modify the basic spacing in the drawing space by going to here and setting, I don't know, something like 10. Once we have that, we can start drawing the grid lines. We can click on the plus grid line and start clicking to create the start and end points of the grid line. Then we can modify the name of the grid line. For example, this one is going to be grid line B. Instead of clicking on the screen to create the start and end points of a grid line, it is possible to type the coordinates. For example, I'm going to type 0, 0 and then 10, 0 for the next point. That's going to create another grid line. This is going to be grid line 1, for example. It is possible to create all the grid lines this way, but we can also import a DXF file. When importing a DXF file, you need to select the units of the file. Or you can also enter a custom scaling factor. But in this case, the DXF file is in meters. So we'll just import it, and it will bring all the lines as grid lines to the model. What I'm going to do now is to duplicate this level. This is the base level, which doesn't, doesn't have any beams or columns in it. I'm going to duplicate that by clicking the Add button. Every time you click the Add button, it's going to duplicate the selected level. So in this level, which is level 1, I'm going to change the elevation to be 3.5 meters. After that, I can create beams and columns on this level. For this, I can click on the plus beam button, and then click on a grid line intersection, and then click on another intersection. This is going to create a, be a single beam. The same applies for columns. You can click on a grid line intersection and this is going to create a column right there. Instead of doing this one by one, it is possible to create all beams at once by clicking the all beams button. The software is going to look for all the possible beams given the grid lines and it's going to create them. We can do the same for columns, but in this case we would like to have a different section for columns. So I can go ahead and click on this section ID for new members setting and change that to 2. Once I do that, I can click on the All Columns button and it's going to create all the possible columns on the grid lines layout with section 2. Now I can duplicate this level as many times as I want. I'm just going to add a new level and this is going to be at 7 meters and do it once more. This one is going to be at 10.5. Once we have all that, we can click in Submit. This is going to bring all the structure to SkyCF S3D. Once we have the structure back in S3D, let's say that we want to change the height of the last level. For that, we're going to go to the last level, right click, and say Edit Level. This is another way to go to the Grid Lines and Elevations module. Back in the module, we're going to change that to something like 10. So we're decreasing 0 0.5 meters the height of that level. I will click Submit, and the software will automatically shift the nodes in that level down to the desired elevation. There are more things that you can do to interact with the grid lines in S3D. If you right click on a level, you can edit the level, highlight the level, isolate the level if you only want to work on that level. If you want to restore all the elements you can right click and show all. It is also possible to isolate the level with the columns in case you want to work in the members in the level and also the columns that belong to that level. Now let's look at the workflow for existing structures. So let's say that you have a model that doesn't have any grid lines in it but you would like to add the grid lines. What you need to do is to open the grid lines and elevations module. From there click the auto button. Here 
are the settings so you can detect levels from supports, play boundaries and member ends and also you can toggle the grid lines detection on and off. Then you can click generate and it's going to analyze the model and generate elevations and grid lines. As you click submit you will see the grid lines and elevations that the software automatically detected in the screen. From here you can interact with the grid lines and elevations in the same way we demonstrated earlier in the video. So this is how grid lines and elevations work in SkyCFS 3D. Hope you enjoy it.